And welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands and online at onespotmedia.com. Up first this evening, the JPS is now facing more pressure from other sections of the political directorate. The Jamaica Labour Party is calling for the light and power company to immediately roll back the August increase in electricity bills. The JPS, though, has put forward its defense for the increase in bills. Details in this report. JPS customers are reporting a massive increase in their August light bills, some as much as 50%. JPS says the markup is mainly due to an increase in fuel charges from roughly $24.33 in July to $32.17 in August. JPS explains they had to switch from liquefied natural gas LNG to automotive diesel oil ADO just before Hurricane Barry hit sections of Jamaica. The suppliers of LNG had to take their facilities offline to protect them from damage. ADO is two times more expensive than LNG. Plus, we did not have access to the renewables, to energy from renewables for a bit, uh, because for some time in, in, in July there was there was little or no sunshine, for example, and so we didn't benefit from the, the solar facilities that we get renewable energy from. So the dependence on ADO was more than usual for a portion of July, and that sent up the overall fuel cost, which had to be shared among our customers. Winsome Callum explained in Monday's interview that if electricity usage for August was roughly the same as last month, a customer's increase would be roughly 15%. TVJ News saw one such bill. The July bill totaled roughly 15000 and the August bill roughly 17000 Notwithstanding the explanation, the JLP is talking tough through its spokesperson, Carencia Morrison. We have heard JPS citing a temporary increase in their cost of fuel, why the increases have been applied to electricity bills. However, in the circumstances of a natural disaster, which caused many to be without electricity for a long time, we are of the view that it is unconscionable and unacceptable to impose such onerous additional costs on the people of Jamaica. Enough is enough. We strongly urge JPS to exercise good conscience and immediately roll back these announced increases. The Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, has launched a probe into the matter and JPS has indicated it would be assessing customers on a case-by-case -case basis. The Energy Minister will be recommending to Cabinet that an independent audit be conducted into JPS's billing mechanism. In the meantime, JPS customers can submit complaints directly to the Ministry via email, jpscomplaints at mset.gov.jm and OUR complaints at mset.gov.jm.